It appears the Ford government is continuing to focus on the future tonight, with another big electric announcement happening just a few months ahead of the provincial election. Premier Ford says the province and the federal government work together to secure Canada's largest auto investment, but so far neither has said just how much money the taxpayer is putting towards the $5 billion project. Automaker Stellantis and South Korean battery maker LG Energy Solution have announced they will build a large-scale electric vehicle battery plant in Windsor. We're investing in every part of the auto supply chain. The cars of the future will be built in Ontario from start to finish. The more than $5 billion investment is the largest in Canada's automotive manufacturing history. We thought it would be big, the fact that it's this big is just incredible. Auto expert Brendan Sweeney says an investment of this size moves the industry in the right direction. Cements, Windsor and Southern Ontario more generally as just part of the most important international automotive ecosystem in the world. In a pre-recorded message, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said the announcement is an important one in Canada's fight against climate change. The world is moving to clean tech and this is Canada's time to lead the way. While three levels of government are contributing, it's unclear just how much. I, I can't divulge that. Uh, that would compromise some negotiations uh, moving forward with other companies as well. But uh, it's a massive investment and it's hundreds of millions of dollars. The battery facility will supply Stellantis plants in North America and will create 2,500 new jobs in Windsor. We are the best country to build the entire ecosystem for EV vehicle with green steel, green aluminum and soon green batteries. But Ontario opposition leaders are calling for more incentives to entice drivers to purchase an electric vehicle. Let's remember this government came in and they took all of that down, they even took off the charging stations. They ended the rebate. We're playing catch up right now uh, because of the hostility of the Ford government to electric vehicles. Uh, in the U.S. last year alone, $25 billion invested in electric vehicle supply chains. But Sweeney says subsidies are just one way to encourage sales. The more batteries we have, the more battery electric vehicles uh, that we can have within North America. When we're doing this at scale, that could also bring the price down a bit. And so, you know, we really, we are getting there. Construction of the new 4.5 million square foot plant is set to start this year. To put it in, in true Canadian terms, about 112 NHL hockey rinks. That's a lot, right? <laughs> its goal is to be fully operational by 2025. While in Windsor, the chief operating officer for Stellantis said the automaker also plans to build a second battery plant in the United States, but the location has yet to be released.